Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to share with you a few fun and at the same time inexpensive stocking filler ideas for your toddlers. So all of these little fillers are from Poundland and Pound Stretcher. Now I know everyone may not have access to these stores but you may have similar stores around your area and I really hope you get a few ideas from this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Whenever I think of stocking fillers for my kids, I think they can do with something to play with, something that can encourage them to write and draw. This is always needed something to eat and something good to read. Now with that sorted, let's begin. I'm sure my little girl would love this set as she loves to dress up and so I thought this was a good buy for her. Now this set just costed a pound and it got seven different items. This little set can be for a boy or a girl. I think both my twins would love to do some imaginary play with this. When I saw these build and go cars in Poundland, I was quite surprised because again it came just for a pound. It's got interchangeable blocks and kids can do different combinations with just one set. Also this feels really solid so I got two of these, one each for my boy and girl. Next up, they had a few different kinds of this modeling clay. I think my little girl will really enjoy this as she seemed to like Play-Doh. And as you can see, they have different colors and a little leaflet inside with instruction. I think this can be a nice little activity on a rainy day when they can think of nothing else to do. I don't really know why but my boy seems to be really excited when he sees monster cars on the telly. So I thought this will definitely get his attention. Also it's made of die cast so I'm thinking it will be really durable and it also says you can change its wheel positions in over 20 different ways so this must be really exciting for him. Next I also got these wooden dominoes as both my kids seems to really enjoy this kind of toy and it also has pictures of different kinds of dinosaurs in various colors as you can see so I hope they also get to learn a little something while playing with this. I also found these play money sets. I thought this would be a great tool to introduce them to currency like the different kinds of coins and notes and if your kids are older then this could also be used to understand some symbol maths through play. If you've got a toddler you would know kids really get excited when something is new and will want to use it more. So I also got them a set each of these elf mates felt tip pens. We always need something to get them excited on those not so good days that comes and goes every now and then. So I thought my little boy would really like this robotic notebook which also has stickers inside. Kids can also make little robotic scenes with these stickers and the first few pages are designed for these stickers to go on. I also picked up a matching pen and a pencil case so he can feel like a little responsible kid and keep all his stationery together. Similarly I got my little girl a lovely looking pen, a pencil case and a notebook. I thought this notebook was really cool as they came with interchangeable letters so maybe kids could practice spelling out their name and other words as they learn. I also picked up a pair of rulers as you can see. The idea behind all this is that they hopefully learn how to take care of their things and keep them all together in their new little pencil case. Stickers are a huge hit among my kids. They love to peel these stickers and put them literally everywhere. I got a good variety of them and got two of these for a pound. So I'm pretty sure kids would love this in their stocking. Now that my kids have started showing interest in write on and wipe off books, I know these whiteboard markers will come in real handy. Also I got a bundle of plain white paper as I've noticed that they like to do their own drawings. I also got some googly eyes in different sizes from Pound Stretcher for some arts and crafts we could do at home. I saw these elf mates matching card game and it says it can be played with two or more players so got them a set. I thought if they enjoy it we could also take it along when we travel as they are so handy. As I saw these neon bouncy balls I knew both my kids would love them. I think even if they were babies they would love to look at them and feel it as they are so brightly colored. Every child I know loves these Kinder Egg surprises and behind the box were instructions on how to play with the little surprises that comes inside the eggs. So I'm sure kids would love to get one of these in their stocking. I picked up these Barney cakes. I know it's a big hit among young kids so I thought I would get a pack and try it out. And as you can see behind the box came a little game that the kids can figure out and have a little fun. I think my little girl will love these candy bracelets and necklaces but I'm pretty sure it's loaded with sugar 
so i think this will go in their stocking for now or as a separate gift but i think i will only take it out for her when we are traveling or so I was so excited to find this little book and I have already started reading it to them and they are absolutely loving it. Now hopefully I'm thinking of doing some homeschooling and I thought these books will come in real handy. I think I'll wrap it up as a separate gift for them. All these books have little activities and parent tips below every page and they also came with stickers as you open the book. And finally I got some Christmas crackers for all of us and this says it comes with a party hat a joke and one of these six little gifts you can see behind the box here it will be the first time my kids gets to crack one of these and I can't wait to see how they would react and with all that said I want to wish every one of you a very merry christmas I know it won't be the same this year especially in the UK where we are in lockdown again but let's just do everything we can to keep up the spirit of the season and before we end this video I would like to say a big thanks for the kind of support you guys extended for my previous video it may not seem like a lot to many of you but I thought you should know that it really does to me over 300 views in a span of a week's time is the first for me uh, so thank you so much guys it really meant a lot to me i really hope you would continue to give me the same kind of support so see you soon guys thank you for watching bye